Hey, today I will be showing you how to replace all the electrical component on your Active 2.3. Let's get started. Let's start with the GFCI plug. You'll need a Phillips screwdriver for this task. First, remove all four screws using the Phillips screwdriver. Keep the screws in a safe place so you don't lose them. Once the screws are out, go ahead and remove the cover. Now, you'll see three connections, positive, negative, and ground. We'll need to loosen these three screws to disconnect the wires from the plug. Remember, don't remove the screws completely. Just loosen them enough to release the wires. Next, let's remove the wire lock by unscrewing the two screws that hold it in place. Now, it's time to loosen the screw fasteners for the positive, negative, and ground connections. Again, don't remove the screws all the way. Just enough to free the wires. Take your new GFCI plug and reconnect the wires, following the connection guide. Once the wires are connected, reattach the wire lock by screwing it back in place. Finally, place the cover back on and retighten all four screws. And that's it. Your new GFCI plug is now installed and secure. Let's detach the micro switch from the pump head. Use a flathead screwdriver to unhinge the pin. To open the electrical box, refer to our unmounting video linked here. You will need to unmount your 2.3 from the cage. Once you have unmounted the 2.3 from the cage, use a Phillips screwdriver to remove the three screws holding the box. After removing the screws, you can open the box and see all the wiring components. Here's the diagram for the wiring connections. Let's remove the capacitor. Follow the connections closely. You should see black and white wires connected to blue wires. Use the cutting pliers to snip all these wires. Once you finish cutting, you will need to re-splice both blue wires. The capacitor is now detached from the unit. Next, let's remove the micro switch wire connection. Follow the wire connection. There should be a white wire that is connected to the on and off switch and a black wire connected to the black wire on the motor unit. Using cutting pliers, snip the black wire. Keep in mind you will need to re-splice this black wire to connect the new micro switch connector. Now, remove the white wire connection from the existing ring connector on the on-off switch. You can use pliers to assist in pulling out the connection. Be careful not to damage the existing ring connector. If it does, you will need a new wire connector. Specifically, you will need a female quick disc connector. You can now detach the micro switch wire. Let's disconnect the GFCI cord and all the remaining wire connection. There should be four wires left a white and black wire connected to the power switch, a green and red wire connected to the motor unit. Green wire is your ground, while the red is the positive connection that completes the circuit. Let's remove the red wire from the on and off switch. You can use pliers to assist in pulling out the connection. Be careful not to damage the existing ring connector. Otherwise, you might need to purchase a new connector, specifically a female quick disc connector. Now remove the black and white wire from the on and off switch. Lastly, let's unscrew the ground from the motor unit. Let's replace the power switch. To remove the power switch, you will need to use a screwdriver to remove the two screws that is holding the power switch bevel. You will then need a flathead screwdriver to push the lock holder while simultaneously pushing the power switch out of the box. Grab your new power switch and simply push in. Make sure the switch snaps on and that it's mounted properly. Finally, let's reattach the bezel by securing the two screws. Let's replace the box mount. If you have a damaged box mount, this can be easily removed and replaced. 
follow the instructions to properly replace the box mount. Use a Phillips screwdriver to remove the box mount from the motor unit. You have successfully removed the box mount. Now let's replace it with a new one. Place and align the new mount and screw in the four screws. Now let's begin reassembling everything. For this step, you will need three butt connectors and a splicing tool. First, splice the black and blue wires from the motor unit. Next, attach the butt connectors by crimping them to the black and blue wires. Let's attach the green wire or the ground wire to the motor unit. Next, we will reattach the micro switch. Insert the wires through the hole. Connect the white and red wires to the power switch. Remember, the red wire should be parallel to the black wire and the white wire should be parallel to the white wire. Refer to the wiring diagram for guidance. Next, connect the black wire to the black wire in the motor unit by crimping them together. Lastly, we need to reattach the capacitor. Connect it by crimping it to the blue wire. The white and black wires can connect to any blue wires. It doesn't really matter which blue wire you choose. You have now successfully replaced all the electrical components on your Active 2.3. Now, let's put the box casing back together. Now, secure the electrical box by putting back the three screws. Finally, Reattach the micro switch to the pump head by securing it with the pin and gently tapping it into place. And there you have it. You have successfully completed the replacement of all the electrical components. If you have any further questions, contact us at supportactiveproducts.com.